In karate, we often have a situation where we're shifting from one stance to another. It's very common to be shifting from a front stance to a back stance, or from back stance to a front stance. We do this in Kihon, we do it in Kumite, and we do it in Arkata. In this video, we will focus on shifting from back stance to front stance, and from front stance to back stance. Although we may do this for strategic reasons, such as moving further away from an opponent or moving closer to an opponent, really when we shift from one stance to another, the main purpose is to generate power. When we go from back stance to front stance, we generate power in five different ways, and it's important to utilize all of them. The important thing when we shift from one stance to the other is there must be movement of the body. I'm going to demonstrate that by putting some tape down on the floor. So this line represents my center. If I move into a kibidachi, this is my center position. Going from here to a back stance, kokutsudachi, my body weight must move back behind this line. If I shift from here into Zenkutstachi, front stance, my body weight must move forward from this line. So there must be movement when I shift from one stance to the other. This is very important. Once we have established that movement from back stance to front stance, we can start to explore the different ways that we generate power. The basic technique that we usually use for this is to go from back stance, knife hand block, front stance, spear hand strike. For this movement, we can see from the back stance, heels are on one line. Switching to front stance, we move out with the front foot, coming around and striking to the front. So the first way that we generate power here is moving sideways, lateral power which we use to disrupt our opponent's balance. We also move forward, generating power going forward, pushing from the back leg, and rotating the hip, coming around, driving forward the rotational power. As we're rotating, it's important to bring the foot with us rather than pushing away from us. So this rotation must bring the toes forward with the hip. At the same time, we're pulling back, hikite, the pullback hand, and we're striking with the attacking hand. So the five ways that we make power are out to the side, forward, rotating, pulling back, and striking. From the side view, same thing. We're moving from back stance to front stance. The front foot is moving across, not forward. So we're generating power the five different ways, moving across, coming forward, rotating the hip, pulling back, and striking. From here, So when the attack comes in, we're looking to be in a back stance, moving back into a back stance, keeping our body away from the opponent as much as we can. We're also looking to control the center line, bringing our foot slightly inside so that we're on the inside of the attacker's front foot. Each. From here, moving back into a front stance, driving that foot out to the side, generating sideways power, disrupting his balance. Next, from here, we're driving the stance forward, back into a front stance, generating power, pushing off the back leg. This pushing movement here generates power, and then the hip coming around also then generates more force going to the front. As we're turning the hip, we must bring that foot forward with us, rather than the heel going back, or the power goes backwards. So the first power again is out to the side, second piece of power is driving forward, third piece of power is rotating forward, fourth piece of power is pulling in, hikite, the pullback. We're pulling him in towards us and then at the same time we're striking, 
In Kihan, usually this is nukite, but realistically, a striking technique here. So we're generating power in five ways, side, front, rotate, pull back, and strike. These are the five ways that we generate power when we change from kokutsudachi to zenkutsudachi. The same is true when we go from front stance to back stance. I will use an example from Heian Goda. In this case, we're going from front stance to back stance here with Manji Yuke. I don't mind what applications you use. What I'm talking about now is how we generate power for the applications that you want to use. From here, one hand is pulling back, other hand is pushing forward. So that's power in two different directions. Front foot is pulling in, hip is pulling back, and weight is moving back. So these are the same five ways that we generate power going from back stance to front stance, but in the opposite direction.